Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Queen Toria. Thanks for coming back. Um, it's your future first time. You're welcome. My name is Toria. This is life with welcome to life with Queen Toria. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. You're the real G. Thanks for your support. Thanks for helping me grow this channel. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, please, please, please. Okay, so today's topic is going to be about is um, sex a choice. Okay, so I know this is a topic that everybody tries to um, run away, but it's not something you can run away from. Okay, so I've been listening to a lot of people and their experiences, and now they feel guilty. How some people try to make them feel bad. Okay, now so this is my own point of view. I'm going to be very neutral. I'm not going to start being start come and start preaching. Um, yeah, don't have sex is very bad. Are you mad? Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. I'm just going to be neutral. Is it an option or a choice? It's actually a choice. It's you. It's what's good for you. I'm going to start with that. Now, first of all, don't ever let anyone pressurize you to what you don't want to do. Do you get? If you, I think I need to move these glasses. Okay, so you see my face very well because this is a very very serious topic. Okay, so um, I get a lot of questions like my boyfriend wants us to have. The question is the first question I ask you: Do you want to? Are you ready? Because it's not something. Because a lot of things changes in your body. Because your friends that are started having sexual intercourse doesn't mean okay. Yeah, my friend is doing it, and they said it's so nice. It's, it's so good. The question is: Can your body take it? Can you deal with the consequences? Before you even think of doing something, I feel like you should make sure research. Think about it. Research. Can I handle it? Am I mature enough? That's the question because it changes all of your mindset. It changes your the whole perspective of how you carry your body, how your body is. A lot of changes. Uh, you ha get to have a lot of changes in your hormone system. Okay. I'm not excited to them, but I've read about it. I know how it how, how, how it changes people. Do you get? Okay, now your friend must have been. Um, having it for like having sex for like a very long time, do you get? And you're like, ah, my friend said it's actually good. Okay, she has been having it for a long time, but she has never had issue of um, getting pregnant or blah blah blah. Even if she has been getting pregnant, she will never tell you, he or she, she will never tell you that she has had an abortion, she was pregnant before, she has had a series of abortions, do you get? Now, what if, or maybe she knows the way, options, how to get rid of it, you know? Some people are actually good at this and you just want to go and chop, pop up, pop on in and when at the end of the day you don't even know how to um you don't know how to get yourself out of it. So I want to advise you it's out there. Okay, I think I was talking to this person and she was like, oh, um I think she said she was 28. Her friend has been complaining, blah blah blah. And how that friend started saying, I want to not complain. It's not easy. Isn't it not mad? Isn't it not that, 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 that? Like, but I try this thing, you're good enough. Blah, blah, blah. My question is, are you ready? That was what I asked her. Are you ready? It's a choice. You need to think about it. Because you have to think for yourself. Because if anything happens now, that guy, it will jack He go wrong, come out. Are you ready? And she was like, no, no she's not ready. I was like, let me tell you something. Sex is, there's no logic to this sex thing. Yeah, sex thing. There's no logic to it. Once you're ready, you know that you're ready. You get? And once you've put your mind to it, that, okay, no, I want to have it after my marriage. Yes, so be it. So be it. But once you put your mind that, oh no, I don't think I can wait for I don't think I can wait until after marriage. Like, are you ready at that particular time? Are you ready the right person? Even if you guys break up, you know that's okay. Yeah. I'm happy that I lost this person. No one must have that. The bastard. The bastard just used me and don't just. So that was the question I asked her. If you're ready, and even if your relationship with this guy doesn't work out in the can you take your risk off? Do you know to handle the consequences after the relationship? That's what you end up saying to me, right? Girl, okay, this is me. It's my future. It's the bastard. And after he has used my body, nobody is your body. Nobody will kill Tell me, you, yo, nobody can manipulate. Nobody can manipulate you to do what you don't want to do. That's why you need to start standing for yourself. Both as a lady, I'm not just talking about ladies. I'm talking about ladies and guys too. Once you're ready, you're ready. Just because one of your friends are telling you to do, 
don't do it because at the end of the day if you and that person are not longer together can you undo yourself that's why you see some ladies will be like um they'll just be like well I, I, yeah we had it we did it and it's gone i move on that's what they call handling the situation but once you put your mind on it that ah you my body this guy already did this and he left me just like that you don't come and stop blaming nobody for she didn't with you so it's a choice do you want to you need to start learning how to speak for yourself because your body is your body if the body do bad like this now you go face him nobody's going to feel how you're feeling do you get it's just like when you're feeling depressed nobody now knows how you're feeling everybody have their own problem so um i just feel this is a topic we need, just need to address like sex a choice it's actually a choice for you to make don't let anybody push you to what you don't want to do don't come and start saying um this person so it was just after my body you the moment he came he or she came to you and you agreed you agreed that's just it you agreed to do it nobody's forcing you to do it so you just have to think before that's what you say think before you make any situation so guys, so I know today I didn't really talk about um, aviation air. Like I said, it's just basically like um, lifestyle beauty tips. So this is the topic for today. I just feel like I need to address this. I need to address this because I don't want to start hearing I fell victim. I fell victim. The world is going. The world is going digital. We need to you know know what we are doing. Okay, so guys, please subscribe to my channel. If you like topics like this, yeah, please subscribe to my channel. All of that. And again, that's why I said think. Think before you make your choice. Can I handle this? Because it, has, it comes with a lot of consequences. The question is, can I handle the consequences? Am I mature enough to handle the consequences? If you're mature to handle the consequences, anything that comes and you know how to handle, you know how to tackle it, go for it. I mean, like, okay, no, ah. Uh, I can't think for myself. I still need validation for people. There's some people that need that. You don't need validation from anybody. Don't let someone come and start using their perspective of life or their opinions of life to start directing you. So, like I say, think or look before you leave, guys. Subscribe to my channel. I'm see you later.